let's get right into it. Number 9. Zero gravity is a lie. So you know how astronauts float around in space looking all peaceful and weightless? Well, they're actually falling. All the time. At 17,500 miles per hour. They're plummeting towards Earth faster than a speeding bullet. The only reason they don't splat into Earth is because they're moving so insanely fast sideways. As they fall down, the Earth's surface curves away beneath them at the exact same rate. It's like trying to jump off a basketball while it's spinning. You keep falling, but the surface keeps running away from you. That weightless feeling you get in a dropping elevator is what astronauts feel 24-7. Everything in the space station, the astronauts, their equipment, even their coffee, is in constant freefall together. That's why it looks like floating. So next time you see footage of astronauts peacefully floating, remember they're actually falling faster than a jet fighter. They're just really, really good at missing the ground. Number 8. The Great Seasonal Deception Your third grade teacher fed you absolute garbage about seasons. You know how they told you summer happens when Earth gets closer to the sun? That's complete nonsense. Earth is actually furthest from the sun during Northern Hemisphere summer. In July, when you're sweating buckets, we're literally millions of miles farther from the sun than in January. The real reason for seasons is that Earth is basically leaning like it's had one too many drinks. Our planet is tilted at 23.5 degrees. Scientists think this happened because something the size of Mars smashed into Earth billions of years ago. It literally knocked our planet sideways, and we never recovered. This tilt means different parts of Earth get different amounts of sunlight. When the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun, those rays hit us more directly, like pointing a flashlight straight down. That's what makes it hot. During northern winter, when everyone's freezing, Earth is actually at its closest point to the sun. But because we're tilted away, those rays just glance off us like a bad pool shot. Number 7. The sun is a liar. That friendly yellow ball in the sky? Yeah, it's been catfishing you your entire life. The sun is actually pure white. And so intensely white, it would literally fry your retinas in seconds. Our atmosphere is basically running the world's most successful con job. It scatters and filters the sun's light, making it look all warm and golden. Beyond our atmosphere, astronauts see the sun for what it really is a blindingly white sphere of pure nuclear rage. The sun isn't just hiding its true color, it's hiding its true power. Every second, it's converting 4 million tons of matter into pure energy. That's like detonating a trillion nuclear bombs every single second. Those beautiful sunsets you love posting on Instagram? That gentle golden glow is actually a nuclear furnace wearing a Halloween mask. Number 6. Exploding in the Void Hollywood directors have been feeding you lies about space death. You won't explode like a balloon. The truth is way weirder and honestly more disturbing. Your body doesn't explode. It starts to boil, not from heat, but from the lack of pressure. It's called ebolism. Your blood literally starts to bubble like a shaken soda can. Imagine every drop of blood in your body suddenly fizzing like champagne. Your body starts to swell up, but not like a cartoon character. It's more like a slow, horrifying inflation as gas bubbles form everywhere in your tissues and you're conscious for about 15 seconds of this nightmare. That's 15 seconds of feeling your blood turning into foam inside your veins. Scientists know this from actual accidents during spacesuit testing. One survivor said his last memory before passing out was feeling his saliva boiling on his tongue, like pop rocks, but it's your own spit. Number 5. Cosmic Vacuum Cleaners Black holes don't work the way you think they do. They're not giant space vacuum cleaners. They're more like invisible trap doors in reality itself. Black holes don't actually suck anything. If our sun suddenly turned into a black hole of the same mass, Earth wouldn't get sucked in at all. We'd keep orbiting exactly like we do now, just freezing to death in the dark. But if you do get too close, something way more horrifying happens. You get spaghettified. Yeah, that's the actual scientific term that actual scientists use. The gravity becomes so intense that it pulls harder on your feet than your head. You'd be stretched thinner and thinner, like cosmic silly putty. Your body would get pulled apart, atom by atom, stretched into a stream of particles thinner than DNA. And this all happens in complete silence. No dramatic whooshing sounds, just the quiet horror of being turned into subatomic spaghetti. Number 4. Hell Planet Next Door Mercury might be closest to the sun, but it's not the hottest planet. That crown goes to Venus, and it's not even close. The surface temperature is hot enough to melt lead into puddles. We're talking 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than your oven on cleaning mode. But the heat isn't even the worst part. The pressure on Venus would crush you like stepping on a grape. 
It's 90 times Earth's pressure. That's like being half a mile underwater. Except the water is also lava, and it rains sulfuric acid. Acid so corrosive it could dissolve a car in minutes, except it never reaches the ground because it vaporizes from the insane heat. Scientists think Venus might have been like Earth once. It probably had oceans, maybe even life. But then the greenhouse effect went completely insane. The whole planet turned into nature's pressure cooker from hell. Venus is basically what happens when a planet has the mother of all meltdowns. Number 3. You've been wishing on space garbage. Picture this. Romantic date. Starry night. Magical shooting star. You close your eyes and make a wish. Well, I'm about to destroy that moment forever. That shooting star you just wished on is literally a space pebble having a death scene. We're talking about rocks sometimes smaller than a grain of rice. But these cosmic crumbs are screaming through space at over 100,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to punch through a steel plate. When they hit our atmosphere, the friction is so intense they literally incinerate themselves. It's like watching a bug hit a windshield at Mach 50. Most of these are just leftover bits from comets. Basically, you're wishing on frozen dirt that a comet sneezed out. The universe turned you into someone who makes wishes on flaming space dandruff. You're not seeing some mystical celestial event. You're watching the cosmos take out its trash. Number 2. Fireballs from a deep freeze. Watch a meteor streak across the sky. Glowing white hot. That blazing fireball? It's actually frozen solid on the inside. We're talking negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit cold. These rocks are moving so fast that the air in front of them gets compressed into plasma. But that outer inferno actually insulates the inside like the world's most extreme thermos. The heat from that dramatic light show barely goes deeper than a fingernail. Scientists have found meteorites minutes after landing that were covered in frost. Imagine touching something that was just surrounded by plasma hotter than the sun, and it gives you frostbite. Every fireball in the sky is basically a frozen burrito in nature's microwave, burning on the outside, ice cold in the middle, disappointing when you bite into it. Number 1. Mars. The planet of blue sunsets. Mars has been keeping a massive secret from us. The red planet actually has blue sunsets. Yeah, the planet named after blood has blue sunsets. It's like finding out Darth Vader secretly loves puppies. While Earth's sunsets are all warm and orange, Mars is out there doing the complete opposite. We're talking electric blue, like someone installed LED strips on the horizon. On Earth, our thick atmosphere scatters blue light everywhere. But Mars has a thin, dusty atmosphere that scatters red light instead. So when the sun sets on Mars, all the red light gets scattered away. What's left is pure, vibrant blue, putting on an alien light show. And during regular daylight, Mars's sky isn't even red. It's actually butterscotch colored. The red planet with butterscotch skies and blue sunsets. Mars is basically trolling us at this point. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.